We begin with those deadly floods, mothers and their children suddenly surrounded by those rising waters. The death toll growing as we come on the air, at least 12 now dead. The frightening images tonight out of Utah, the raging waters, you can see how fast moving they are. Two cars, families inside both of them, suddenly overwhelmed by the floods. Authorities say washed away by a wall of water 20 feet high. One boy's body found more than six miles away from where those families were trapped. And ABC's Nick Watt leads us off from Utah. Oh, dear, there's two vehicles. In those vehicles, three mothers and 13 kids, the youngest just four years old, cut off by the flash flood oh, no, waters. There goes John's fence. Oh, Watches the wall of water washes them away. In just 30 minutes, a staggering one and a half inches of rain fell, flash flood, washing families to their deaths. They're getting everybody out. Further disaster narrowly averted as rescuers pull a group of women from this stranded vehicle. This afternoon, a 10 year old boy was recovered six and a half miles downstream. I knew uh, the, the mothers, uh, I knew them as they were growing up as young girls. This little town, Hilldale, is a bastion of the polygamist, fundamentalist church of the Latter-day Saints, once ruled by Warren Jeffs. This is an act of God, and this is something that we can't, we can't control. Three children were rescued last night. The death toll now stands at 12, with one still missing. At one point, this creek rose three and a half feet in just nine minutes. Two feet of water will sweep a car away. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it's huge. It's getting bigger. In Zion National Park this afternoon, three killed in a flash flood, four still missing. The same weather system that brought tragedy to Hilldale brought rain to much of the southwest. A dog and owner rescued from the LA River, a man airlifted in Huntington Beach. Back here in Hilldale, it's been raining on and off all day. The flood water is still flowing and hope for that one person still listed as missing. David, that hope has all but faded. All right, Nick Watt on the scene. What a terrible scene there. Let's get right to Ginger Z because you were telling us this rain's going to continue into the night. It's still falling now. And today, Los Angeles had its wettest day since March 2011. So part of this is good, part of it obviously bad. Some of the heavier showers moving through Utah now, southern Utah, the brunt of it. A lot of this from remnants of Linda that was out in the Pacific, that moisture pooling up along that cold front over the Rockies. This is all going to move to the east. Then our attention turns to the west, the far west. That cold front good for the valley fire look at that the rain falling there tomorrow afternoon one to two inches overall and it all comes along with cooler temperatures sticking for those firefighters right, you're going to track this through the night ginger we'll see you on gma